Jones? Yes. I knew it was you. You have your father's eyes. And my mother's ears. But the rest belongs to you. Indiana Jones is in search of the Holy Grail, and he's also trying to rescue his kidnapped father in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. The first film is the third and last Indiana Jones adventure, and although this production is exceedingly well made, save for a rousing ending, I wanted more. More humanity, more wit, more laughs. More of a film like the original Raiders of the Lost Ark. In Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Harrison Ford meets a beautiful Austrian archaeologist who helps him look for clues in the rat-infested catacombs of Venice for the location of the Holy Grail, the legendary cup Jesus drank from at the Last Supper. What's that? It's a rubbing. Dad made of the Grail tablet. Just like your father. Kitty is a schoolboy. <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful if he were here now to see this? <laughs> he never would have made it past the rats. He hates rats. He's scared to death of them. The most important character introduced in this film is Indiana's archaeologist father, played by Sean Connery. He's yes. been captured by the Nazis, who also want to find the Holy Grail. I will take the book now. What, what book? book? You have the diary in your pocket. <laughs> you don't. Do you think my son would be that stupid that he would bring my diary all the way back here? <laughs> you didn't, did you? Like the other films in this series, action is everywhere as Indiana tries to rescue his father and a colleague played by Denholm Elliott. What's good about the film, very good, is its slam-bang ending that takes time to question what's more important, objects or a family. What is so-so about the movie is its machine-like march through Nazi lairs and caves in the hunt for the Holy Grail. None of it is bad, it's just of a piece, thunderous to the point of pushing one away from the screen. And I didn't believe the father-son relationship between Connery and Ford. I just saw two good actors occupying the same space next to each other. So are you voting thumbs down? Yeah, reluctantly. Because I'm voting thumbs up. I enjoyed it. One thing I will agree with you, though, is that the plots are very similar between this one and the first one. Mm -hmm. Remember, in the first one, the Nazis were after the Ark of the Covenant. Right. This time, they're after the Holy Grail. Right. And, uh... You didn't get tired at all when they were just going through the story. Didn't you think... Gee, I've been through this before. Well, it's a I little mean, loud. No, no, I didn't. And I'll tell you what. You've got to realize this is the third in the series. Maybe Spielberg is wise to end it at this point because we are now familiar essentially with what we can expect. Strange locations, uh, unbelievable adventures. Snakes and rats. Uh, snakes and rats and so forth. I did enjoy a lot of the art direction, especially that wonderful dirigible and the way it looked yes. and the way the plane took off from underneath it. I thought that was terrific. I liked the look of Venice and the look of those catacombs. Do you remember your reaction, though, to the first one? Weren't the you... first one was absolutely smashing. It was a great film, but it was also a new film. A new kind. It was a new. It was a new film in the sense that I hadn't seen that energy level before. Right. I hadn't seen that technical level before. I hadn't right. seen Harrison Ford in that role before. And I felt there's that no I'd way that Spielberg can win with this one. I think it's a very good film. Well, I, I felt like I had seen it before, and I didn't. Did you really believe they were father and son? I, I, no, I, I did. Gene, I don't. Earlier, you were saying the film didn't have enough humanity. I don't go to an Indiana Jones film for humanity. I don't go to an Indiana well, Jones I mean, film for but, convincing father-son relationships. But if it I go for it, action and stunts. I thought that, that, that Connery had a couple of good lines in which he was trying to, to, to be it's strict just to not, It's just not as strong as I expected to be. Mm, well, okay. We had a split decision on Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I was entertained by the action and adventure, but Gene found it all too familiar. So, I liked Indiana Jones, I liked Miracle Mile, you liked Zip. Yeah, I uh, 
felt uh, sort of bludgeoned by Indiana Jones on the Last Crusade. Uh, I'd rather see the first oh, one now, again. Come on, though, Gene. If it yeah. were Saturday night and you were looking for a movie to go to, wouldn't you it, find you know that, that you got your money's worth with Indiana Jones? You know that I would the actually. The great feel, color, the great well, location. It's physically good looking, but you know, of, of all the pictures that were discussed, I would probably want to see Roadhouse again more than any of them for the very quality you mentioned. It's a little bit goofy. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade seemed very familiar.